I would say that spinning wheel shows they have a little bit of magic to them. They are a really, really good night out mm. in your community and you don't have to drive home. What more could you want? Exactly. It's different to working in a theatre where your audience has come to you. You, particularly when we go into the villages, because quite a lot of the time they will know each other or they'll know a few other people, so there's a completely different atmosphere and it's really nice. You're coming into a community and you're, you're presenting something for them. I think it's one of those unusual events that you would have in a small community where every generation is able to access it and enjoy it and that they sort of have a shared experience it's not like a disco for the younger people and then bridge for other people you know it's something that everybody's involved in i really like it when they do the puppeting with the robin i thought it was amazingly professional i liked the fox the fox was good wasn't he that was cute i might want a fox and i think it's about taking the elitism out of theatre. It has got more and more expensive and if you live in a village unless you do own a car and you're happy to drive to your nearest town which might be a half an hour plus away um, then theatre isn't easily accessible whereas if you can walk to a village hall and pay a tenner for a ticket then it makes it a nice easy and inexpensive night out. We work with a company called Scenic Productions who build our scenery for us, um, which is all part of keeping our production values really high. So Scenic Productions build uh, scenery for shows in the West End, there's some work in uh, a transfer to Canada, all sorts of stuff all over the world. We are really committed to making sure that we have the best possible professional artists working on our show so that our production values are really, really high. Why shouldn't a, a small village have the opportunity to to see something that is, you know, got loads of lights and a really cool set and all that kind of stuff just because it happens to be in their village and the tickets are under a tenner. We look for a really uh, particular type of performer because rural touring is really hard work um, and it's very physically tiring. They don't turn up half an hour before the show and uh, just waltz onto the stage. They are part of unloading the van, putting the set up, rigging lights, and then they do the show and then they take it all down again and then we do the same thing the next day and the next day. So <laughs> it, it is tiring and so we have to look for actors who are um, prepared for that and who we hope are on the same page as us and feel passionate about what we do as much as we do. Our sort of flagship programme, which is the Takeover project, uh, or Youth Takeover, which we do with uh, young people aged 15 to 25. And they work with us uh, over the course of a year, form their own sort of department, and over that year they produce their own production. So they will choose which show they're going to do, they will design it, they will fundraise for it, they will do the lighting and the sound, the marketing, marketing decide where they're going to perform, yeah, book that, get any licenses they need to get, and then also direct and rehearse and perform in that piece. We believe that it's a really important to have lots of different skills um, to be able to diversify. Um, and then we also have our summer school, which is a two-week intensive creating a production over two weeks um, at the end of August. Our Aspiring Artist Scheme um, is something that we run on every professional show that we do. So we have um, a role within the production, either a performing role or a backstage role, which we will give in its entirety to an aspiring artist. I've just been helping with uh, past couple of shows, so production assistant, uh, doing the odd job there. Um, a couple of projects that they did with some of the local communities as well. And then at the moment I'm working with the actors in the cast of The Secret Garden. Aside from doing the shows, probably learning everything else that goes into running a theatre company has been quite interesting. And it's been good to get my feet kind of just at least dipped in a little bit at this early stage. We seem to have people that just keep coming back again and again. We like theatre. We don't get to theatre much now because my husband is disabled now. But being in the village was wonderful and we could just come here in a couple of minutes and we really enjoyed it. I thought it was brilliant. I will certainly come to another production. 
I think one of the best moments generally is when you've been working really, really hard on a show. It takes Amy and I at least 12 months from the initial decision to put on a show until it opens. And then all of that hard work and you see that show on stage for the first time and you see audience members enjoying it and just mm. having a really nice time. I think we, we, we had a, a text conversation after the opening night where you'd sent me a... No, you'd asked me for an audience quote to go on Twitter. So I went and looked at the audience feedback and I sent you it. And you went, well, <laughs> we did that. Yeah.